We take taste for granted as an art form because we interact with it on a daily basis. Artists and bartenders weave their magic using different mediums, but creativity is a muscle and we flex it in different ways. My inspiration comes from mainly African spirituality, mythology, and pretty much the world around me. I focus on abstract expressionism, and because I've never worked with a different kind of creative, it would be an interesting experience that I was looking forward to. I wanted to see what could come out of that, and if I could in any way challenge myself. When Bombay Sapphire approached me about collaborating for this art tender project, I thought it was something uniquely different. And I really enjoyed the idea of how many common threads we could find in the two different styles of creativity. I was thinking for this piece that we work with natural materials, earth, fire, Water. Lulama came up with the idea where she wanted to use the different elements, which I thought was fantastic. I think that's going to be really cool to play around with. I also like the fact that you're using different textures, which gives me some options so I can try and layer the drink and take the gin on a bit of a journey and see if we can make some magic. Let's see what happens. Stir up some creativity. <laughs> yes, let's go for it. I'm thinking of using this tool. Yeah, the bar spoon. The bar spoon, yes. I think I want to create some magic with this. Now, I really like the, the hessian that you had there. I think it'll be beautiful elements. So I'd maybe like to try and present the drink on a nice wooden surface, uh -huh. maybe use some of the hessian to tie it together. But yeah. I'd actually like to use some of these threads to mm -hmm. maybe make a, a candle. So to bring that fire element you were discussing. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. So we've got this beautiful Bombay Sapphire that we've infused with white cacao and grapefruits. We've got some uh, Bombay Sapphire once again that we've actually infused with some coffee beans, some really cool sherry. So we've got a local vermouth. We're gonna add a touch of sweetness from our raspberry syrup. And then to finish it all off here, we've got a beautiful Gen Maicha green tea, which is made with toasted rice. And then we're gonna give it a good old throw. And taking some inspiration from Lulama's signature, we've got this beautiful grapefruit zest. Here it is, the end result. This looks so lovely, man. Ooh. It tastes good. This tastes really good. Thank you. Awesome. You brought all these elements together. I, I love what you've done here. I think it's just magnificent how you've brought all those layers and textures yeah. and colors together. It looks really, really cool. Thank you. I just started with the base and then I laid it again with paint to kind of bring the colors forward. And just my signature kind of minimalist look. Yeah, that's it. That simplicity is there so that yeah. it lets the message shine no, through. I really but love it. I'm I love the, the detail. I say delicious is in the details. Thank you. Awesome.